Well, the jobless numbers in Illinois reveal just how much economic pain the pandemic is inflicting on our residents. And it was a big topic at the governor's daily briefing today. WGN's Patrick Elwood joins us now live from the Thompson Center with that part of our coverage. Patrick. Mike and Joe, good evening to you. You just mentioned those unemployment numbers. In February, the unemployment rate was 3.5% nationwide. Today, the governor was met with protesters outside the Thompson Center. Inside, for his daily briefing, he admitted, again, in terms of unemployment numbers, the state was woefully unprepared to deal with all of these claims. Outside the Thompson Center, a coalition of organizations gathering to protest what they believe has been the inequity of public recovery pandemic funds disproportionately going to corporations and not individuals, they say. That number had nearly doubled. Inside, the That's governor holds today. his daily COVID-19 briefing. Newly released unemployment numbers dominate much of the conversation as another 3.2 million Americans filed for unemployment benefits in April. As of today, IDES has now processed more than 1 million initial unemployment claims just since March 1st. That's over 1 million claims in just the first nine weeks of this crisis. Pritzker is saying that despite reports of people having trouble filing for claims and accessing the website in general, Illinois Department of Employment Services employees have been doing good work. They have been working every day to expand our systems and capability to meet the increased need as quickly as possible. In many ways, they've been forced to build a new airplane while flying it. And saying the state was out in front authorizing the distribution of funds. Illinois was also one of the first states to implement the additional $600 per week in federally funded benefits from March 29th through July 25th through the Federal CARES Act, offering our residents and their families extra support to help pay bills and put food on the table through this pandemic. That said, as many as 33.5 million people have lost their jobs since the pandemic was declared in March. In February, United States unemployment rate had reached a 50-year low of 3.5 percent. Back outside, protesters also calling on the governor and the mayor to address their concerns. We need a governor and a mayor to pay attention to Cermak and Halston and Stony Island and King Drive from the north to the south and even Pulaski and not just LaSalle Street. Additionally, the governor saying on Monday his administration will unveil a new $22 million computer system to help with those unemployment claims and add an additional 100 workers. Live outside the Thompson Center, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Joe and Micah, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Patrick.